Coming up on this week's news, so-called kill switches are discovered in Chinese-made inverters, says Reuters. A Welsh local authority installs one of the UK's first bi-directional AC chargers. And why don't you see solar panels on council houses? We reveal the reason and why it's set to change. Welcome to Electrical News Weekly, whether you're listening in the van on site or down at the wholesale counter. I'm Joe Robinson, and I've been through the best of the electrical industry news to save you the trouble. And if you think you've spotted the two words that I've been challenged to slip into this week's show, comment with them below for the chance to win a prize. The electrical trade is being warned this week that undocumented communication devices have been found inside Chinese-made power inverters. The discoveries include secret cellular radios. News organisation Reuters says it's been told by US security officials that the rogue components allow the units to be turned off remotely. The kit, which has also been discovered in battery packs, bypasses standard firewalls to avoid detection. Engineers stumbled on the additional equipment while stripping down the inverters in a so-called teardown. The sources declined to name the brand names of the affected inverters and batteries. They also wouldn't say how many they'd found in total. Experts fear the hidden kill switches could be activated remotely to cripple power grids in the event of a conflict between China and the West. The revelation comes as a bill is introduced in the US Senate which aims to ban the Department of Homeland Security from buying batteries from six Chinese brands. Meanwhile, the UK government is understood to be currently reviewing the use of Chinese renewable energy technology with a conclusion expected this summer. The probe is believed to also include inverters. No guidance or advisories have yet been issued to the trade over the choice of inverters in renewable installs. Of course, it could all just be a big fuss over nothing. More on this story when we get it. In other news, a council in Wales sashays into the future by becoming one of the first in the country to install a bi-directional AC charger. Denbyshire County Council says that it's combining the vehicle-to-grid charger with its fleet of 100 electric vans, solar panels and battery packs to reduce its reliance on the grid. The setup means that power in the van's batteries can be sent back to the grid during peak demand. AC vehicle-to-grid chargers use the existing onboard inverters in the vehicle and are typically simpler and lower cost than DC equivalents. Other councils trialling the tech include East Lothian, Islington, Oxfordshire and Wiltshire. Local authorities are clearly keen on electric vehicles, but why, many perplexed people ask, do you never see solar panels on council housing? The reason, says Octopus, is that there's simply no incentive for landlords, but that could all be about to change. This week, the energy giant unveiled a special tenant power tariff. It aims to remove that blocker by allowing landlords and renters to share the benefits of clean energy. Under the plan, local authorities and housing associations can earn money by exporting surplus power from PV panels to the grid. The green energy automatically gets sold back the grid at peak times. Tenants, meanwhile, can save up to £200 a year under the arrangement. Any social home with solar panels and an octopus-optimised battery can sign up for tenant power. If landlords add extra low-carbon tech like heat pumps, occupiers can save even more. Octopus believes the tariff will provide a big boost to installers by giving councils a clear return on investment. Now, do you fancy yourself as a product designer? UK Power Networks has put out a plea to inventors everywhere. It wants help with a rapidly growing problem. The rapid growth in EV charges and heat pump connections is leading to more customer complaints about the mains voltage falling outside of its limit. Energy firms must deliver 230 volts but are allowed to go to plus 10% or minus 6%. Currently, a complaint means that UK Power Networks must send a qualified inspector to install a voltage recorder in the customer's home for two weeks. The device is then collected and the data analysed. It's a slow and expensive process. Now the firm wants a technical expert to design a device that customers can install themselves. It wants something that householders can simply plug into a socket. It must record the voltage fluctuations and transmit the information back using the 4G network or something similar. It must be safe to use, small enough to put in the post and cost the same as a multimeter. If you think you can come up with something to fit the bill, you have until the 17th of June to submit it. The link to the competition is in the show notes. Now, welcome to our Electrical News Weekly feature where we focus on a specific product area. This week we're going green with sustainability. The big news here is that the innovative scrap metal startup Green Cable has signed up its 2,500th trade professional and is rapidly approaching 3,000. Many congratulations to them. If you're not familiar with the scheme, it's a new concept where the company delivers a green wheelie bin to your premises or home. There's no contract or service charge. You simply put in your offcuts of twin and earth and other non-ferrous metal. They collect it, they give you money, and well, that's it. The firm describes itself as the trade scrapyard on wheels. It's now upgraded its fleet and is rolling out the service to more parts of the country. To request a bin, click the link in the show notes. 
Luden has announced that you can now commission its Sienna EV chargers by simply using the Monta app. The Monta charge section allows you to schedule charges only at times when certain conditions are met. These could include low electricity prices, low CO2, or a high level of renewable power. Connecting the charger to the cloud is easy too, thanks to Monta's compliance with the industry standard Open Charge Point Protocol, or OCEPP. You can also integrate your customer's vehicle with Monta so that they can see the current battery level, whether the cable is plugged in, or if it's being charged. Monta also supports solar PV integration. Now, we can't do a focus on planet-friendly products without name-checking Marshall Tuflex. The company has been using recycled material in its trunking conduit for over 30 years. Its current range is in fact made from 80% recycled UPVC windows. Gary and I took a trip down to the brand's factory on the south coast to see how the magic happens, and I'll pop the link to the video in the show notes. It really is pretty impressive. Siemens is also using post-consumer and post-industrial polymers, this time in its RCCBs. The German giant says the plastic in its Centron 5S V3 device now contains 50% recycled content. Siemens Andreas Mate said using as much sustainable material as possible was the new normal for the company. That's our Electrical News Weekly Roundup of products or people we think deserve some attention. Next week, we're sounding the alarm for fire safety and security. Meanwhile, excitement is building for the highlight of the Electrical Trades calendar. Yes, it's CEF Live. The show takes place at the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham on Thursday the 5th of June and Friday the 6th of June. Gary and Gordon will be at the LED Group stand on Thursday. That's the powerhouse behind Robus, Fusebox and ATC. They'll be hosting a series of live chats, interviews and debates. They'll be tackling real-world questions electricians face every day, sharing tips on how to grow a successful contracting business and shining a spotlight on the next generation of electricians. Electricians. Special guests joining them include Theo Webster, Kimmy the Spark, and Griff Thomas. While you're there, make sure to check out the new Fusebox F3, the feature packed Robus Speed Beam Plus, and the energy efficient ATC Almeria panel heater. On Friday, attention turns to darts as Gary and Joe head over to the Marshall Tuflex stand. You can meet world champion Phil Taylor and take on fellow dart star Mark Dudbridge in a Beat the Pro Challenge. The top prize is a red letter day experience. If darts isn't your thing, there's also a scale electric track. You'll also be able to check out Marshall Tuflex's cable management kit such as the base or range of cable trays, the fast fix basket and the conduit range with 50% recycled plastic. And just in case you're wondering which Joe from Team eFix will be on the stand, it's me. I'm actually being allowed out of the new studio to make one of my rare public appearances and I'd love to see you there if you can make it. Weira Tools will be showing its new Safe Talk Speed VDE screwdrivers on stand 11.6. The safe element is provided by a slipover mechanism which ensures that the selected torque cannot be exceeded. You can set five torque values and also have a fixed position for conventional screwdriving. It boasts a fast rotating sleeve for easy use. The company is also launching the 410i RA ratcheting T-handles. These work with the brand's 3 8 inch VDE sockets and accessories. On stand 9.66, Collingwood Lighting will be showing all its hero lights, including the Super 6 installer range. This tested and approved half dozen includes down lights, battens, bulkheads, and non-corrosive luminaires. The brand will also be introducing a three-circuit track range, so keep an eye out for that. There'll be an F1 simulator on the stand, a secret prize for the top-ranked driver, and of course, lots of Collingwood merch. One of the best promos in our humble view is on the Crompton Control Stand. The company is offering a free spooler cable carrier for every electrician who brings an eFix completion certificate for the introduction to motor control CPD that we created in association with Crompton. And if I do say so myself, it's some of the best work that we've done and well worth checking out in its own right. The link to the CPD is, as ever, in the show notes. There's a maximum of 10 spoolers to be claimed per day, so you'll need to be quick. You can also check out the company's range of devices, including starters, contactors, panels, isolators, timers, and power monitors. Power tool accessory specialist Armeg is on stand 9.33, where it will have four demo areas for its drilling and driving kit. Best of all, it's offering some special lightning deals at the show. Three of these will be products in its popular carabiner belt loop bit holder sets. The final deal is the Armeg versus Velocity Pro Gear Drill Pod Pro. This is an organizer for all your drill accessories and includes the newly released Impact Masonry Plus bits. These stubby bits have fast spoil clearance and a stop feature for specific depths. There'll also be surprise freebie deals and bonus giveaways, so get yourself to stand 9.33. Specialist Wiring Accessories, part of the Shoal Group, is on stand 11.3 where you can get special show pricing including for its acclaimed Storm Glands. There'll be a full range of SWA kit on display, from tools, glands, fixings to live demos. The company will be giving away free easy lock cable marker kits to a limited number of early visitors each day. 
Each kit is worth over 65 quid, so if you want one, you'll need to be fast. SWA is also hunting the fastest crimper at the exhibition. All you have to do is prep and crimp a Solar MC4 connector onto a solar cable in the fastest time to win a BCT 10300C handheld battery powered crimping tool. It's worth taking part because that tool will set you back over 1500 quid. Runners up will bag a solar tool starter kit. Visitors to MetPro on stand 9.54 will be able to get their hands on the company's extensive range of conduit and accessories. These include the Conlock conduit system, roller tray, rapid saddle, easy fit channel nuts, and trunk clip and tray clip. Visitors can have a go on a special install course where the aim is to install all the MetPro innovations as fast as you can. The fastest time each day will win an Amazon voucher. Oh, and we reckon MetPro has the best coffee at the show, so you get your caffeine fix there as well. Skarmy UK will unveil no fewer than three new new ranges at CEF Live. These include the Icona series of industrial consumer units, the bespoke Atex Zenith range and the EMC isolator series. The company is also promoting the assembly of its compact EXGD series which is now in the UK. Best of all, Skarmy says it will give a £250 CEF voucher to a randomly selected visitor to its stand. Hager is on stand 9.4 where you can see its groundbreaking BHP RCCB, a device designed specifically for ensuring safety in heat pump installs. We covered this game-changing device in some detail on a recent live stream. You'll find the link in the show notes for that one. At CEF Live, you can also check out its other award-winning circuit protection kit and get up close and personal with the magnificent Hager PBM Ducati Superbike. There's also a chance to win VIP tickets to a British Superbike meeting, grab some Hager Gang merch, and see the three times a day stand spectacular, all on stand 9.4. Matty is showing its innovative range of EV connection centres and components, including its new GPCA unit. This is suitable for loads up to 1,250 amps and is therefore ideal for DC chargers. The brand will demo its award-winning Guardian electrical safety monitor. You put it next to your existing disc boards where it constantly watches the supply and checks the electrical infrastructure of a building. It's ideal for power and protective conductor monitoring for three-phase installs and not just for the EV jobs. There'll also be some exciting prototypes on display, a domestic heat pump connection centre and a diverted neutral current detection unit for domestic properties. At stand 9.56, Platinum exhibitor Contactum will focus on commercial power distribution. Kit on show will include the robust Defender disc boards. The Defender 125 amp B board features power and lighting options, while the 250 amp version boasts five incomer options, three and four pole switch disconnectors, thermal magnetic adjustable MCCBs, and a four pole MCCB with adjustable type B RCD. The trusted Defender 2.0 consumer unit will also make an appearance, no doubt. New for Contactum this year, is a range of wiring accessories including Profile, a full grid solution. Make a note of Hall 11 stand 26 for your visit. That's where you'll find Luden in full swing on the 5th and 6th of June. Get hands on with interactive challenge games, score limited edition giveaways and chat directly with sales and technical teams for top tier advice. Electricians also have the chance to claim a free VIP merchandise pack. Just pre-register via the Luden website. You'll also be able to check out the Sienna Charger with its integrated monitor commissioning we mentioned in our product focus section. Whoever you decide to visit on the day, registration for free show entry is required on the CEF website. You'll find the link to that in the show notes and we hope to see you there. Another OCPP compliant platform for EV charging is TAP Electric. The good news here is that TAP integrates seamlessly with ChargeMate's innovative Libra load balancing device. Instead of allocating a set amount of power to a building's EV chargers, Libra cleverly allows you to dynamically use any available power when the building is running below its maximum use. Libra also features out-of-the-box integration with the TAP Electric app as well as integration with subzone load management and individual phase monitoring. To commission it, you simply use the touchscreen. The good news is that the guys from both TAP and ChargeMate are joining us on our live stream this week. That's Wednesday the 28th of May from 8pm. So if you have any technical queries about EV chargers, we now have the experts in the hot seats, so we'll see you there. A reminder that you still have time to enter the draw for tickets to see Oasis in NVC Lighting's current promo. The brand is offering four tickets for Wembley in July, plus travel and accommodation. The campaign, which runs until the end of May, rewards you for your purchases. For spends of £250, you get a £5 Greg's voucher. For £400, it's a £10 voucher. There's also 15 prizes a month in Amazon vouchers. All entries go into the draw for the Oasis tickets. I've put a link to the competition in the show notes. 
Schneider Electric, meanwhile, is offering a pair of hospitality tickets in its What's the Story promotion. The Oasis tickets offer premium club-level hospitality, some of the best seats in the stadium, and access to exclusive bars. You'll also get Oasis merch and a £50 Uber voucher to get you home afterwards. Runner-up prizes are pretty cool too. They include Ticketmaster and Apple Music gift cards in values from 50 quid to 250 quid. To enter, spend £250 on Schneider products at participating wholesalers, and you'll receive an entry ticket. Simply scan the QR code on your competition entry ticket to access the entry form. The competition closes at the end of June 2025. Also ongoing is Robus's big ticket promotion, where you've got a chance to join the company and eFix on a trip to Dublin. We'll visit Robus HQ for a sneak peek at their latest lighting kit, followed by a trip to the Guinness Brewery. Where else? If you missed out last time, now's your chance to get involved. Just click the link I've put in the show notes, answer a few questions based on a recent Robus video, and you could soon be packing your bag for Ireland. The winner will be announced live on the Robus stand at CEF Live in June. And our usual reminder that we're in the market for your stories, your projects, and your recommendations, as we'd like to share them with the wider eFix community. Over the next few weeks, we'll be featuring fire safety and security, HVAC, and lighting controls. So send us pictures of your installs, or let us know if you've come across any new kit or companies that are making your job easier or any products that you think deserve a shout out and just before we get to your favorite bit of the show where i reveal last week's challenge words and winners we want to thank our premium partners we couldn't make the news without you first up they're the people who've created the swiss army knife of solar inverters along with all weather batteries very much the boy scouts of the solar industry is sunsink doubling down on terminal screws in their top quality circuit protection products and building innovative isolating units with built-in surge protection it's whitecliffe electrical distribution next with deep commitments to the economy, the environment, and the electrical community. There's so much more than an electrical distributor. The self-styled experts in shifting boxes, it's Nyglon. Up next for all your circuit protection needs, they're like having an Italian star striker in your premiership team, it's Luden Palazzoli. In an age of energy uncertainty, if you're looking for your next EV charge point to install, then helping you charge into the future with confidence, powering the future together, it's Rolex. And now, suspend your disbelief like you suspend a cable tray. If you need to get any piece of building services equipment into the air and keep it there, then check out ZipClip. With their new award-winning Lumo consumer unit and offering complete product support from their highly trained team, it's CPN QDIS. And with over 5,000 product lines from heating, lighting, ventilation to wiring accessories, if you need it, they've got it. It's electrical distributor CED Group. Don't forget to use the code EFIX30 to claim your 30% discount on top quality light fittings from Philips and Ecolink. Download the Lum Expert app today and make your life easier and less expensive. It's the light of our lives, Signify. And the best thing to come out of Yorkshire since day Stainless Steel, the home of EV Ultra and other groundbreaking and quality products, it's Doncaster Cables. Click the links in the show notes to find out more about these great brands. If you think you know the words that I've smuggled into this week's show, pop your guess into the comments. We'll take all the correct guesses and select one at random to be the winner of an eFix goodie bag prize. Answers submitted after about lunchtime on the Thursday after release will not be entered into the draw. And just a heads up for this week only, the results will be announced a week late on the 9th of June because I'm trying to have a holiday and I'm recording two episodes back to back. Now let's reveal the winner of last week's challenge word competition. Last week's words were sparkly and headbangers and the winner to be plucked from our electronic hat was Darren J Knight. So well done to you Darren, make sure you click the get involved link in the show notes to claim your prize. Thanks for listening to this episode of Electrical News Weekly, make sure you subscribe to receive the next update, thanks for listening and until next time have a great week, stay safe out there and remember there's no such thing as a talk calibrated arm.